Hello, this is Lincoln Easley here, and today we are going to talk about Gun Hack of the Week. And Gun Hack of the Week is going to be 3D printing. And I know many of you were waiting for this, and you're thinking, God, when is he going to talk about 3D printing? When does he keep on going over cleaning stuff, and this stuff, and that stuff on cleaning, and different uh, fluids to use, different chemicals to use? Well, this time I'm going to go into 3D printing. I would like to make one statement on this. I do not do any 3D printing. I don't make lowers. I don't make uh, I don't make parts that are supposed to be sterilized. I don't do that. Uh, California state law, they they really frown on that. Uh, there's a really big thing on ghost guns, and I I just rather not go in that realm. But what can I print? What can I make that makes my life a whole lot easier? Saves me a ton of money, and could go a long ways for what I'm trying to do. Well, uh, you make dummy bullets. You make all the you make thousands of dummy bullets, and I love them. They're great. I mean, they work really well. They cycle through. I mean, it helps a lot. Other things. I mean, I made these here for laser engraving. I make focus sticks. These are awesome, and they extend pretty far out. They work really well. You just loosen up your knobs. Trip to a hardware store to get the screws you need. Only cost a couple bucks and make the focus sticks. Uh, a lot of these patterns are free to download online, and I can pretty much go to town on what I want to get. Uh, I've actually found tools that I can make and containers and all kinds of cool stuff. I mean, here's something that I have for my Glock 19. As you can see, it's all unloaded, and I made a little stand for my Glock 19. These things are awesome. I can put them in my safe. It locks into place, it ain't coming out. I mean, it's staying in and, I mean, I love it. I mean, these are pretty awesome. So, 3D printing, making precursor parts, making accessories. Yeah, that's a big thumbs up. I can say that can be a big money saver. Uh, you can make storage a lot easier in your safe. You try to store stuff. You could actually make carrying cases for your magazines where they can all be loaded and ready to go. You can make speed loaders. You can make all kinds of stuff. You can make shoulder stocks for your AR, or you can make it for your rifle. You can make pistol grips. You can make modified pistol grips. You can do all kinds of cool stuff to what you want to make. Now, for 3D printing, yeah, you're gonna. It depends on what you want to get. I have a um, about a thousand dollar printer that I have, and that thing is a beast. I have a uh, Corel Max and. I love it. It's a uh, quite a 3D printer. I actually have it printing a stand to hold a rifle stand, which they do take a long time. It takes about nine hours to print something like that. Uh, this here took about three hours to print, and my focus stick took about an hour. So there's some time that they're involved. So 3D printing as a great hack. Yeah, it's two thumbs up. I would definitely go for it. Learn the files. Learn about what you can do. Uh, one thing I will state, look into the laws of your state. Find out what you can and cannot do. It never hurts to research what's legal and what's illegal. Because even though you believe it's unconstitutional, sometimes it's better not to go there. Even though the state, what they're doing is wrong and all this stuff, it's better off not to go there. It's not worth putting yourself in a position where you're going to get yourself in legal trouble over something as simple as making a magazine for your Glock. I mean, it's just not worth it. So check with your state, make sure it's good to go, make sure you're okay. I mean, the stuff that I have here is completely good in my state. I mean, there's nothing they can do. I mean, if anything, you can sell a lot of this stuff and you'd be good to go. And I love this stuff, this stuff's great. It makes it easier for me. It's easier for traveling, it's easier for me to store my safe and yeah, I mean, it's nice being able to have my gun up on, up like that when I'm trying to clean it and have it set up right. Yeah, it works great, and I would be completely happy with this stuff. Make sure you understand what you're printing. Make sure uh, PLA, ABS, all that stuff. Make sure you know what you're using. So, be safe, happy shooting, and have a great day.